Hello, welcome back to another episode of Map of Haas. We are watching Pre-Calculus Season 1, Episode 15. We are continuing our investigation of exponentials and logarithms. In the last video, we looked at the pH scale and the decibel scale for um, applications of the logarithm and real-life modeling. And in this video, I want to look at now how to measure the magnitude of earthquakes using first the Richter scale. So the Richter scale was um, invented in 1935 by the geologist Charles Richter. Ooh, we got some previous stuff over there. Let's go ahead and clear that. All right, so the Richter scale says this, that the magnitude is equal to log of I over S. Ooh. Richter scale. And actually, when I'm thinking about it, we're going to change this S. It doesn't really matter what you call it, some of these variables, but let's make it more intuitive. So I'm going to use an I naught. Now, if you remember in the decimal scale, I used the I naught to refer to it it referred to a reference intensity and that's exactly what this is so what we have going on inside the log is the ratio of two intensities the I in the numerator here that is going to be our measured intensity of the earthquake and we need to relate that to somehow to another quantity that would be our base reference and that is what this I naught is so oops so just to emphasize, M is our magnitude. I is going to be the intensity of the earthquake. And that leaves I naught, and that's our reference intensity. That's a terrible looking R. Let's fix that. Hmm. Reference intensity. All right. And the reference intensity, just like um, what the decibel scale was, a set value. And in this case, for the Richter scale, it is going to be 10 to the negative fourth centimeters, which is also one micron. So we're going to use this value here, 10 to negative 4. All right. So example. So for our example, suppose we measure a earthquake with intensity of about 5. times 10 to the third. How about the second here? Suppose we measure earthquake with 10 to 10, 5 times 10 squared. Okay, what is the magnitude? All right, question simple enough. We are given a intensity that means that i is equal to 5 times 10 to the second, which is the same thing as 5 times 100, or just 500. So when I think about my equation, we have m is equal to log of i over i naught. This is going to be the same thing as log of 500 over 10 to the negative 4. Let's see what this value is log of 500 divided by 10 to the negative 4 and we get let's say 6.7 we'll just round up so our magnitude is approximately 6.7 on the Richter scale all right and we could of course work backwards if I give a 
for another example, if I say the magnitude is say 4.1, what is the intensity? We can work that out very similar. So we would have 4.1 is equal to log of i over 10 to the negative 4. And to solve this, I can note that we have a logarithm isolated already. So we can exponentiate. Since that log is the common log, that's base 10, I'm going to exponentiate with both sides with the exponential base 10. So we have 10 to the 4.1 is equal to 10 log of i over, oops, over 10 to the negative 4. And then if we recall our properties of logs, a to the log base a of x is equal to x. So these will slay each other, leaving with 10 to the 4.1 is equal to i over 10 to the negative 4. Now we can multiply both sides by 10 to the negative 4. So 10 to the negative 4 times 10 to the 4.1 is equal to i. Or we could think 10 to the 0.1 is equal to i. So let's see what 10 to the 0.1 is. 10 to the 0.1 is all right. So about 1.25. So i is approximately 1.26 centimeters. There's our intensity. Now, let's see here. Let's go ahead and do a new example. So, if we have a, let's see. So, this is going to be an example from the Stuart Precalculus textbook. It's a pretty interesting one. So let's go ahead and type this out. So the 1906 earthquake in San Francisco had an estimated magnitude of 8.3 on the Richter scale. In the same year, a I don't know how to spell it. An earthquake occurred on the Colombia Ecuador border that was four times as intended. So we have the 1906 earthquake in San Francisco had an estimated magnitude of 8.3 on the Richter scale. In the same year, an earthquake occurred on the Columbia Ecuador border that was four times as intense. What was the magnitude of this earthquake? on the Richter scale. All right. So looking at this problem, we're given a magnitude. So we have a m is equal to 8.3. And I'm going to use a subscript s because this is for the San Francisco earthquake. Okay? We are told that we want the magnitude of the earthquake in South America here. So I'm going to see the M. How about CE for Colombia, Ecuador? So this is what we're looking for. And we're not really given any other information other than this fact right here that we're told that the Ecuador, Colombia, the earthquake here in Colombia, Ecuador was four times as intense. So 
what this side is saying is the intensity of our San Francisco earthquake. If we multiply it by 4, this will equal the intensity of our Colombian Ecuador one. So we have two equations we can set up. We have this one here in terms of our south or our San Francisco earthquake and we can think of our earthquake in terms of the Columbia Ecuador one all right so just to clarify we're only given one value MS we are not given the numerical value of the intensity of the South San Francisco earthquake or the Colombian Ecuador one. Nor are we, and we're looking for the magnitude of our Colombian Ecuador earthquake. So, what we want to do is figure out a way to relate um, our intensities which we have done in red here, this highlighted portion that we are told that the earthquake is four times the San Francisco one. So what we can do is um, start simplifying this a little bit. So I'm going to actually modify this equation now. Oops. So the magnitude of the Columbia Ecuador one we know has to be four times our magnitude of the San Francisco one over I know. Alright. Now there's two ways we can approach this. When I look at the San Francisco equation, MS is equal to log of is over IO. One strategy we can do is solve for what the intensity of the San Francisco earthquake is. Because we know that we have 8.3 has to equal to the log of this ratio. So one way we can do this is simply solve for IS. We could totally do that. However, I could also think about this entire thing here as a unknown quantity. So we could think of it as say 8.3 is equal to quote unquote x. Though we don't really need the quote unquote. And if we think about this whole thing here as an x, well, I almost have that quantity x over here on the right. So one way I could go about in solving this is noting that I have our magnitude here is equal to so what I'm going to do for my next step we have four times this is over I naught this is almost what we want our x here is log of is over I naught we need to get that four out somehow and we could do that using the law of logs. If we recall, um, so let's see. Here's what how I'm going to interpret this. So we have four times i s over i naught, right? This is all inside my log. If I think of it this way, where I have a quantity times a second quantity, then the law of logs say when you have log of a times b, that's the same thing as log of a plus log of b. So by using the law of logs, this is some side work, I can interpret this as log of 4 plus log of i s over i naught. Alright, and then notice that we know what this quantity is because this quantity we said if we think of it as kind of like an x well it was 8.3 so 
the magnitude of our earthquake is log of 4 plus well I don't need to write log, that log of that ratio again we can just put in that 8.3 and now I can use my calculator log of 4 plus 8.3 so we get a value of 8.9 and just a little bit more right Yeah, so we get 8.9, we'll just round it down, approximately 8.9, I'm not going to worry about all those other decimals, so, so we see that our magnitude San Francisco earthquake was 8.3, when we have an earthquake four times the intensity, we got a magnitude of 8.9. Now. If we had not recognized that we could have done that, probably the more into, more natural way you probably would have thought of it is we could have said that is 8.3 is equal to, since it's equal to log of this ratio, you could have done what we did before, exponentiated, so that would have given you this work here. So we are just solving this exponential equation. And then you would have 10 to the 8.3 is equal to is over i naught. So we multiply both sides by i naught, which was 10 to the negative 4. And you could have done this to get your value for is, and then plugged it into our equation over here. So this is a lot more work we did not need, as long as we could recognize our wild well, logs here. So that right there is a nice example using our laws of logs to answer an interesting question uh, that relates to earthquakes by their intensity. All right. So now, as you probably gathered from the beginning of this video, there's more than one way to measure an earthquake. And in fact, the U.S. Geological Service uses what's called the Moment Magnitude Scale. So this is actually very similar to the Richter Scale, but it's also a little different. So our magnitude is going to equal two-thirds times log of our intensity over our reference intensity. So the main difference is going to be the two-thirds and the, our reference intensity is now going to be um, 10 to the 16. All right. So this is now our new baseline for um, measuring our magnitudes. All right. I don't think we need to run through any examples of this because the work is almost identical except you just have a two-thirds now. Well, this will conclude our investigation of exponentials and logarithms. So, in the next video we will go through a general review. Other than that, we will be moving on to trig. Super exciting. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, um, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and supporting us on Patreon. I appreciate your viewership and I look forward to seeing you at the next video. Uh, thank you for joining the math party and see you next time.